Hey, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Let's just take a look here. How many? Ooh, I only need more. one more Knight's Crest. Uh, in the last episode, we made it to the strange castle, and we don't know where we are, except it's very fairly obvious. It's a freaking Hyrule Castle, and it's awesome, and we're doing this big battle royale in here. And I gotta say, it's really fun in uh, hero mode. It's because there is no forgiveness. If you get hit, I don't know what happens if you die. Let's not find that out. Oh, that guy doesn't even know. He's like, oh, is there is something tickling me? Is there a mosquito on my back? Whoa, I thought I was dead there for a second. All right, we gotta be very careful here. There's freaking karate chops. Oh, very hard. Is that it? Oh, yep, that is indeed it. Alright, so there's only one more enemy. There's like, there's quite a few of these guys, though. Kinda wish I took the time to get more Knight's Crest. How many did I say I have again? Oh, I have ten! Oh, great! So, that's it. That's all the Knight's Crests we need in the game. Yay! Let's be known, on part 30, I reached all 30 Knight's Crests. Those are like the hard one to get. After this, they become pretty much useless, to be honest. So it's kinda weird, they literally just introduced the Dark Knight to us, and we already have enough Knight's Crests to beat the game. Well, not really beat the game, but get the item we need with it. Oh, look at this place. It's so beautiful, man. Hello. A long lost. Our preparations are complete. You must return to me so we can return by the same path that brought us here. The time has come for you to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Link. Hooray, Link. <laughs> I thought it would have said first. Oh, by the way. Oh. It's a bit weird there's wind down here, but okay. I don't, I seriously don't understand why they put that in here. For one, for one, we're underneath the ocean, and for two, you, you don't sail at all in here, so it's weird. Really weird, actually. Almost like, I wonder if that's a glitch kind of weird. Cool, so we can go there whenever, I guess? Oh. Well then. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Forsaken Fortress, eh? That's so far away! Oh, that is not, I started playing the the song, the command melody. You conducted the Wind's Requiem. Uh, I guess we want to go... Oh, northwest. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's go that... Wait a minute. Is that right? No, we want to go... Wait. No, that's correct. Right? What is... Yeah, that's right. Okay. I don't know why it confused me so much, but it did. Now. Oh, no! Oh, whatever. Too late. Screw it. Bye. <laughs> I almost wonder if it'd be worth it to go to Grandma's. Is there a fish in here? Oh, there's, he's all the way over there. Oh man. I do know where to get the quick sail in this game now, by the way. Sail that makes you sail quicker, double the speed. Not only that, and one thing I don't really like too much about it that I found out is that it also changes the direction of the wind as you sail. So you'll always have the wind at your back no matter which way you're going, which is weird to me, but I, I don't know. I don't think I really like that. It makes it too easy. It takes away the, exp the, the fun exploration part of the game, you know, yo, bro? Um, let's grab her. Come on, come on. Take, uh, I don't like the sensitivity of the controllers. The crazy, the crazy man. All right, come on, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Fish! Come here, fish! Give me your uh, map skills. <laughs> Maybe the fish just doesn't appear in this sector until the, the Tower of the Gods appears. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking actually. Holy smuff, right? Guess I need to pause and not skip that text because we've read it a million times already. Oh my! Oh, it doesn't even fit on the map. That's all freaking massive it is. I guess this is the biggest island in the game, technically. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry. And from what I can tell, it looks like you've fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control the fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, or some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy, Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now, I know I may be a fish, <laughs> but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You better believe it, small fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Um, okay, Mr. Fish Guy. <laughs> so, honestly, I'm kind of thinking now that maybe he just doesn't appear until 
this play the till the tower appears because that makes sense right it's like what the heck would he say he couldn't say you're destined to come to this place that doesn't exist yet let's take a look here yeah that's pretty freaking huge you know that doesn't really fit on it either by the way see that red circle on the bottom left that means i've collected the treasure from that area so good to know oh actually while we're here get out of here stupid while we're here we might as well open these yay Oop. open and that's it great super okay tell everybody we're on our way new friends and new people to see do we okay we do have the fishy map square thing here oh yes now i could actually go through these things and actually collect all the rupees and not have to like worry about the fact that our wall's already full <laughs> although it will fill up pretty quickly here we're already six tenths of the way there actually or two four six three fifths of the way there yeah i totally had to count that on my hands no big deal <laughs> stay in school kids don't be like me and drop out i'm just kidding drop out <laughs> actually got honors which kind of surprised you dang it i keep missing those Ooh, is that a fairy island over there very far in the distance. I don't even think you guys will be able to see it, but it's directly above my mask right now. And now you could get, okay, it's weird. Can we see it on here, maybe? It looks like it might be, actually. Well, we do, let's go more northwest. Or, yeah, northwest. Okay, look at our compass. Is that compass not pointing northeast right now? Even though we're going northwest. That's one thing I never understood about this game. It's so weird to me. Is that one fall? That's one fall. I really don't understand what the heck why it does that but it's a thing I, I don't know why but it's a thing i really want to kind of come in contact with one of those that's what i want to go to actually that giant turn should i turn around perhaps i should turn around let's, let's go to it because now that we actually have our bow and arrow well we're gonna even spend the time to do this now that we have the bow and arrow we can actually deal with that let's do that real quick and this is definitely 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 worth our time i don't even know why i thought oh maybe i should do the loot group as soon as I saw this, I should have went directly for it. And it's actually pretty great. It's right beside the Tower of the Gods here. Top of the Gods! Okay, so our life is about to become so much easier, you guys. So long as I do this correctly. Which it's possible I might not. Oh no, it's raining all of a sudden. Then it's sunset and there's no clouds. <laughs> oh, that's not going to give us our speech anymore. So, now that we have our piercing item. We just kind of want to spam our arrows at him. We don't get very much time to do this. Oh, we have to hit him one more time. Oh crap, I might not do this. Oh, thank God. Oh! <laughs> the face he makes. It's great. Uh-oh. How pissed is he? Holy crap, he's huge! He's so much bigger than I thought he was. That's a heck of an arm he got there. And then he shrinks down for no reason. And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. How? You're a giant pink cloud that laughs. <laughs> you obviously have the master of the mastery of the air. And now that you've established that you're quite the Wind Waker, let's see if you can handle this. How do you know I'm a Wind Waker? Have you talked to your brother? I don't think so. You're pissed off with everybody. Wow. <laughs> All right. So he shows you the directions of what to do. That might be a bit more complicated if you if you don't know what he's doing there right away. You might not catch on, but I knew what he was doing there. You learned the Ballad of the Gales. Wahoo! In the hands of the Wind Waker like you, my durable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head home for now. See you down the road. <laughs> Goodbye, asshole. Goodbye. Oh, watch him leave. Oh, he's gone. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't go in first person mode out in the ocean like this. That's really cool. All right. Uh, should we go for that fairy island over there? Well, we have the time. Why, oh, why not? Once again, start doing the command melody there. So, the Ballad of the Gods. Really, really, really helpful. Um, kind of don't even want to spoil what it does until we get to this fairy island. I don't even know if we have access to this fairy island. So this actually might be a pointless journey. Actually, you know what? Just because of that, let's fast forward until we get there. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. Wait a minute. This isn't a fairy island. This is a freaking Tangle Island. Dang it. Well, screw this then. All right. So, down, together, up. The only reason I remember this song is how much I use it. 
And I say together when two notes face each other like that because it's so much easier to remember. The Ballad of the Gales. It lets you instantly transport, not anywhere, but essentially you'll always be like within a few squares of anywhere you want to go. Like look at this. They position all these teleports just so like you, no matter where you teleport to, you'll always be just a few squares away from where you want to go, and it's freaking fantastic. And I almost feel like this ting the teleport to Tingle Island is kind of pointless. Huh. Interesting. Anyways. We're gonna wanna go to this unmarked location. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't. This is a bad place. This oh, oh this game just tricked me. This is the one teleport that's an exception. It teleports you to this small little pond that you can't do anything. Ooh, although there are fairies. Young waker of the winds. How did you manage to find this place? I am the queen of the fairy world. I've been awaiting your arrival. But now is not the time for us to meet. You still have many challenges to overcome. You seek to protect an individual very dear to you. Yes, I know of her. But there is yet another in this world whom you must protect. Come visit my fountain again when you have met that individual. And when the time has come for you to face new challenges. At the time, I shall show you my true self. I, we, I messed that up, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? This is actually really helpful because now we can just teleport here whenever on the ocean and we're a bit low on hearts. Maybe that means we'll finally stop dying so much. <laughs> Let's be. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. You got bottle of water. Pour it on something that's dry and withered. Well, I hate saving wildlife, so screw that. Ah, dang it. I don't want the water. I want the fairy. I want the fairy. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this uh, never mind the whole Ballad of the Gales tell always being able to teleport you one square away from everything. This is one exception. I hate how it teleports you, but you can't use this to your advantage. There's nothing in here. We'll, we'll come back here eventually, so I'm not gonna go too in depth of, oops, too in depth of to why. Like this place is silly. Uh, so I guess we gotta go to Tingle Island after all. Dang it! It would have been so much faster if we just boated there. Oh man, well at least I got to explain why this is a bad spot to teleport to. Everywhere else doesn't teleport you to weird locations like that. Everywhere else is just a quick teleport. Alright, am I going... I need to go north or west, don't I? Is there... Oh good lord. Uh... Well, didn't even realize what I was doing there. Good... No, I'm pushing down. Dude! There we go. Jeez, why was that so complicated? What? Oh. Wow. Okay, I started doing the Ballad of the Chaos, apparently. <laughs> oh no, there's a shark right there. Oh no, there's a shark right there! Oh no, there's a shark right there! Comes another sharky. Another shark right there! Get over here, asshole. You see that Rippy just come flying at us? That already happened to us once, but I didn't realize what the heck was going on. Wait, no, I want the map. On the map, on the map, uh, I believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Oh, I guess it's, is that great fish out? That can't be great fish out, can it? Oh, I guess it is. Interesting. Didn't realize it was this close. Mm, maybe, I think that's the first thing in Fortress over there above us there. And this might be the island we were just at that we teleported to, not Tangle Island. But the other island we teleported to, that was pointless for me to teleport to because I'm a stupid. Mm, I'm correct. Yeah, it's totally the Forsaken Fortress. I can tell by the shape. Tell by the shape, 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 shape. Alright, you have maxed out bombs. We don't have too many arrows. Mm, I wonder if there's a way for us to get more arrows in this game. Wink. There is. <laughs> okay, let's pull out our bait while we're... See, I almost wish I could. Well, this would be this would be a great time if I had the gamepad on. My gamepad's dead, and I just haven't charged it. It was dead last recording session too, and I still haven't charged it because I hate doing things that would be useful for the let's play in pretty much anything. Oh, we're starting to get really close to the Forsaken Fortress, actually. All right, fine. I'll aim for the bottle. Okay, I got it. Kind of surprised. I've been doing terrible with candles lately. To the trees quest with 19 minutes to spare. We're not going to look at that because it's kind of spoiler pictures. No! I always, always get messed, mixed up between which R button does what. Always. 
I think that's a normal problem for everyone. I, I think just because this is the first time Nintendo's ever had, like, um, anything besides just a normal L and R button. But, yeah, there's two triggers on each side now. Holy spot, frat! Instead of just an L and an R button, now there's an L and an R and a Z, L and a Z, R. Mother and Child Isles! It's kind of adorable because there's a little baby child island and there's a giant mother child island. They say that inside the ring of rock that make up the perimeter of this island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll meet her is to take a ride in a whirlwind and drop inside the rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't, st doesn't sound easy, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Well, it is pretty easy, actually. Super easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This because this island isn't this this child island is not something we normally get to visit. Let's go take a look here. We will be here eventually. Bam, bam. Oh, not much in these is there. Unfortunately, not. Anything up here? Ooh, look at that. Another one of these assholes, eh? Actually, I don't know why I'm talking to him. Says the exact same thing as all the other ones do. <laughs> I like how they, they blame us on Ganondorf's evil plot. That seems a bit like weird. I don't think Ganon would really waste his time <laughs> on making sure the plants die. Oh, look, there's a blue chew. Yay. That's actually one of the things I don't have on my sidebar, and that's because I specifically want to do a single episode where I tackle all the blue chews. And yeah, that, this, that's the only purpose uh, the child island has. Actually, it has another purpose, but later in the game, I believe. I suppose I got the bottle as well. Should we go to that eye reef? Should I just go for Ganon's castle? I mean, <laughs> Ganon, or the Forsaken Fortress, rather. Ooh, we're coming up to a... Something on the water here. What is that? Could it possibly be? Oh my good lord, it can possibly be. Um, well then, I'll take care of my enemies. Kill them! Is it going to damage them? I don't think it did, did it. All right. Because we don't get to do this very much. These are battleships. <laughs> Three hits will kill them. And yeah, whenever you kill enemies on the sea in this game, it causes them th their drops to fly towards you. Finally, I got the last shard. What does that mean? I don't know. We're not going to open the picture because there's spoilers. Uh, these exploding barrels are only around the Forsaken Fortress. Also, also, also. They specify before that uh, a type of no good pirates used to live here. And I was questioning who those pirates were and how it makes sense in the story. And well, I've actually discovered that chances are the Gerudos used to live here. This is where the Gerudos Fortress used to be. And there's actually a lot supporting that. Uh, if you compare the maps of Wind Waker to Ocarina of Time, this is generally where it's, day it's permanently daytime here. That's weird, but okay. If you compare the maps to Wind Waker to Ocarina of Time, this is generally where Gerudos Fortress would be. So that's really cool. Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> I love how the sun just goes down. Oh, here we go, you guys. I'm a little bit scared, to be fair. Is the bird here? Is the sunbird alive? Oh, the sunbird's not here. He's gone. That's if I go on like... Oh, they start shooting at me. Cool. I mean, not really, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go... Is there a way to get on the ship? Is there a way to get on the ship? Also, where did... Hey, well, I mean, I'm here. Oh, I bet that's the rock right there where uh, Tetra and friends put me. Um, all right, let's go there first. All right, I was going to fast forward to this rock. I want to see if there's anything here. No, well, since we're not going to be here again, let's get this thing. Whatever it may be. It might not be close enough. Oh, I am. Another thing I actually found out that is a change in this game is you don't have to use your grappling hook to go very far into the ocean for it to grab the chest. Which I kind of find lame because I like the how deep the ocean would be. Is it? Yeah, it's my favorite. I think that's the only purple rupees in these. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> this is seriously where Tetra and friends were? That's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going the wrong way there, Linkus. Linky poo. I guess this is where they must have been, though. Cool. Is there another bottle over there? I think there is. Did that just like, respawn in? Did I get that bottle before? Well, maybe I did. Uh, well, actually, no. I probably just missed it, didn't I? All right. Is there anything with a ship? Now we're sailing a bit quicker here. Sailing around at the speed of wind. 
I don't know if I saw like a blue rupee, rupee on it for a second there, but nope. All right, there's nothing here. Would have been cool if we could like climb. I wonder if we can. We might be able to later on. Oh, you guys shooting your cannons at me? That's adorable. I don't care. I have a freaking bullet. Oh, crap. There's actually a lot of them. I just want to take them all out just because I'd be freaking... You know what? Let's do that. What are you guys doing? What? Now we have a freaking cannon of our own. We kill all the things. Oh, I didn't break it, apparently. Yeah, what's up, Ganon? What are you going to do about that, huh, you punk? You punk kid? Is that going to be close enough? It is. It's a bit of slowdown again as well, which is weird. Is that going to be high enough? It is not. Not going to be enough. It is. All right. Wooden doors meet my bombs. Yeah. Here we go, you guys. Back to where we began. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. The sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not do not be afraid. Oh, I'm not. I'm ready to kick butt. If I jump back in you, I want to see if I can break that other door. Let's see. Can we smash this door as well? No. What? Almost looks like there should be like a cannon there as well, but apparently not. Oh, you know what? I know what's in there. I don't think I ever show that actually. There's actually another ship in there, which is cool. And we're actually going to explore this to our like full heartedly uh, in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you already. My name's Chris. We're back to where we began. Kind of. Well, not really. We began on Outside Island, but we're back to where our adventure to save our sister began. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we're going to kick everybody's ass, and I can't wait. I love coming back here the second time because it's you, it, you notice like the difference. It's really freaking awesome. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.